This case is about the decisions that Mr. Villanueva made when he started to smoke, the decisions that he made to continue smoking. But this case you will hear is unique in another very important way that was mentioned to you. It's unique because you're going to learn, as Mr. Green indicated to you, that Mr. Villanueva was not just a smoker, not just a customer. Mr. Villanueva was also a seller. You will learn that Mr. and Mrs. Villanueva built and owned a small grocery store that you've heard described to you, the Eden Market. That among all the other products that they sold, the groceries, the sundries, you'll hear that there was a small butchery in the, in, in the market, beer, alcohol. They also sold cigarettes all types of cigarettes, including the very cigarettes that Mr. Villanueva himself used. Now, folks, <laughs> you're not going to hear from any tobacco company that there was anything wrong with that. Of course not. The sale, the manufacture of cigarettes is a perfectly legal activity in the United States. Just as it was for Philip Morris, just as it was for RGR, there was absolutely nothing wrong with the Villanueva selling cigarettes. You will hear from Mrs. Villanueva that they were proud of their business. They were proud of what they built. You will hear that that business supported their family, took care of their needs, allowed them to provide for their two sons and for, and for themselves. You will hear that that business allowed them to help their family members who moved to the United States. But what you will come to conclude is that other than the marketing and selling of cigarettes, the evidence in this case will be that nothing, nothing that Philip Morris did had anything to do with Mr. Villanueva's decisions to start smoking or to continue smoking even with the knowledge of the risks associated with it. There will be no witness in this case, none, who can tell you how, why, or even what Mr. Villanueva, Mr. Villanueva began smoking many, many years ago when he started smoking in Cuba. None. All that we know and all that you will hear is that Mr. Villanueva began smoking in Cuba many, many years before he moved to this country and before he met Mrs. Villanueva in 1970. There will be no evidence to show that Mr. Villanueva even smoked a cigarette that was manufactured by Philip Morris until he moved to the United States in his late 30s. You heard when he was 37. By then, as you've already heard, every single pack of cigarettes that Mr. Villanueva touched, that Mr. Villanueva smoked, that Mr. Villanueva sold, had a warning on it. Every single one. You will hear that even in the grocery store, to the extent that there was an ad that they put on the wall, every single one of those ads had a warning on it. There will be no evidence in this case that the brands of cigarette that Mr. Villanueva used, smoked in the United States, were any more dangerous or more addictive than any other cigarettes that he may have smoked in Cuba or here in the United States. 